I'm like a fast car. I'm like the sun. I'm like a radio. I'm like a bird spreading my wings. Before we get our cameras and before we get our poems, who remembers something really important about making videos? Take off the lens before you shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't um, touch the camera le um, lens. We want to make sure that... As a graduate student at Islandwood and the liaison for Bailey Gatsford Elementary School, I go into the classroom ahead of time to get the students really excited about their trip and to start introducing them to concepts they'll be learning about at Islandwood. Thumbs up if you think you got all these rules down and you are ready to go and film. Oh, yeah. yeah, all right. One hand on the camera, one hand on the tripod. Got it? All right, the next group is Giselle, Rodolfo, and Angelica. Oh, fun. Lights, camera, action. I am like a tree that grows every day. I am like an apple pie. I am in a box and it is in a box. I am like a football. When I get kicked, I get hurt. So the football is going to be out here and there's going to be a big dog pile? Yeah. Okay, you won't be. The hardest part was trying to find the right words to fit inside your poem. So I should be straight off. Straight off, okay. My object was football and um, it's just because I like football. Football players get the hard hits, and yeah, I get the hard hits too. Get punched a lot. This school has lots of students who have challenging lives. Uh, they have immigrants. We also have kids who are homeless. We have kids in transition, you know, between schools. My job is to open up their eyes and see the world. So look in the screen, is that what you want? I feel like at this age, a lot of the kids are afraid to really show who they are, and the camera really gives them the ability to be able to show who they are without that self-consciousness. If I was an apple pie, I would wish for another apple pie because I am lonely. It will feel cozy in a new box. We're hoping that through this project, the students will really be able to reflect and see changes in themselves from being in their home environments to being at Islandwood and in nature. I don't go outside too much because I watch TV and play video games. At Islandwood, I think it's going to be different. Look at the leaves that are starting to come up on these trees here. It's definitely going to be spring. I like making different things and discovering different things. See that? They went there. Oh, you just saw that? What I like best is the pond, the lake, mostly everything. My favorite thing was seeing a banana slug. And people say when you kiss them, that's your true love. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our poetry workshop. We've been working on poems that connect us. My name is Roberto Ascalon. I'm the artist in residence at Islandwood this week. At Gatsert, we began a process of looking at how we represent ourselves. As an apple pie. Yeah, you were like an apple pie. <laughs> and that process continued here in Islandwood. What does it feel like? What does it sound like so you can knock against it? What words would you use to describe this? We took objects from the natural world and we explored them with our five senses. We noticed their details and we gained vocabulary. For the next activity, you're gonna go outside and you are going to find something in the environment. You can go into the trees, you can look at leaves, you can look at the soil. And what I want you to do is find something that represents you today. I want to help start them on a journey. I want them to 
realize that they can see themselves in the natural world. They can see themselves in a blackberry vine. They can see themselves in the grass when they go to the park. I picked a tree because it is staying in one spot, and so am I. It does friends, so do I. I feel that the birds are just like me. They like to make noise and sing a lot in the morning. I like the tree leaves because some smell good. The leaves are also like me because they like to live and grow in the fresh air. Being out here where they're in the environment and in the natural world, they have that time and that reflection space it produces some growth and how they're able to express their thoughts and feelings. I learn more about everybody and um, uh, I, pe people should write more poems. I learned that I should listen more and talk less. You shouldn't be afraid to uh, talk in front of people when you're writing poems. This would probably be one of the major memories I carry into middle school. Some of the things that they will do with the rest of their, their life is building on what they know now. So this may be the foundation on which they will be building you know, their future. <laughs>